As politics are heating up in Australia, the Freestyle Libre is coming off the NDSS. Lila Moss is showcasing her devices on the red carpet. New research shows that women with diabetes are 40% more likely to die prematurely. And this comes at a time where women in America are losing their freedoms. G'day, I'm Jack. I'm a type 1 diabetic. I'm back in a shirt to share some diabetic news. This news update is very woman eccentric if you know a type 1 diabetic woman female please share this video because this is really important throughout history women have been overlooked and sadly this is the same in diabetic research however this is slowly being corrected because in the ad atd ATTD, the Advanced Technologies and Treatments for Diabetics Conference, women with diabetes was a hot topic. Everyone there was talking about the latest research in women pregnancies, menstrual cycles, and overall outcomes for women with diabetes. The scariest results from this research is that women with type 1 have higher rates of DKA and a 40% higher risk of premature death than men. This disparity is not just a physical one, but also women with diabetes face higher rates of mental health challenges. As, as a guy with type 1 diabetes and diabetes running my life, I can't imagine what diabetes with menstrual cycles, pre-pregnancy, during pregnancy, recovering from pregnancy, it sounds chaotic. My sister has just been pregnant. I mean, she's had a baby, everything was perfect, but she has shared with me the rigmarole daily life of the trimesters and post pregnancy. And due to the high levels of glucose variability, this risks both mother and child, and it can be disastrous for everyone. Not to mention the role of diabetes distress during pregnancies. There's a great article by Julia Kennedy, which I'll link down below. Okay, so uh, if this is your first time hearing about the ATTD, the Advanced Technologies and Treatments for Diabetes. This is a conference where leading experts in diabetes from around the world come together to share research, their findings, and the latest technology. This year was the 15th annual conference, and it was held in Barcelona, Spain. Apart from the new research and focus on women with diabetes, a few other key highlights were diabetes stigma, hypoglycemia tech, automated insulin delivery, and, and what's next for CGM technology. Um, for example, would you wear a CKM? What's in the future for CGMs? Well, we've got the Metronic Synergy, Dexcom G7, the Freestyle Libre 3, and talk of CG CKMs and CGMs merging together so you can know your blood glucose and your ketones constantly just by looking at your phone. All right, over in Australia, politics are heating up. We, you know, I did mention in my last video we've got a two-party system, but really there's a third and kind of a fourth. There's, but there's major two parties and both of them are idiots. Excuse and me, I think like we're getting you, more questions between the two of you than our panel. No authority this is a very you're making point. Point. No, Mr Morrison, that, Mr. 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 I think Australians um, expect spirited debate. Scott Morrison didn't have anything to say except shout. Doesn't really matter. Either doofus gets in, we will be getting subsidised CGM by July 1st. On that note, if you're currently being subsidised for a Freestyle Libre 1, with a monitor, it's important to know that these devices will no longer be on the NDSS. So if you're using the Freestyle Libre 1, it's time to upgrade to a Freestyle Libre 2. The downside there is your monitoring device that you scan your Freestyle will no longer work. You're just gonna have to upgrade your phone. Over in the US, the land of the free, the home of the brave. However, not the best news coming out of the US. The women may be losing their rights to abortions and this is Shocking, really. Uh, what? You're going, what? Women, especially as we mentioned before, having so much distress with diabetes, now you're taking their rights away over their body? I mean, women with diabetes in America are not only having to deal with type 1 diabetes and the rising price of insulin, they're also having to deal with their freedoms being lost in case they did fornicate and procreate. If you're not in your finest health, it is dangerous to fall pregnant um, and dangerous for the mother, dangerous for the baby. It'll be disastrous for everyone. And this is not me telling people if they can or can't fall pregnant. You do you. 
but don't take the rights away from people who are worried about how having a baby will affect their health, the baby's health, their family, everyone. We want to outlaw abortion in the state of Oklahoma. This all boils down to an inevitable truth. Many women who would otherwise have gotten abortions will now be forced to carry pregnancies to term. And the U.S. has one of the highest maternal mortality rates among similarly developed countries. A person is 14 times more likely to die by carrying a pregnancy to term than by terminating it. From the start of this program, women have been getting a shit deal. Why, can someone explain to me why is America going backwards? But on a side note, what are the non-profits saying about this? You know, this heartbreaking news happening in America. Oh look, there's Lila Moss on the red carpet showcasing her CGM and Omnipod. What a goddess, what a warrior, what a warrior. Warriors? What a great distraction from the cold hard truths that's also happening in America right now. This is not the first time Lila Moss has blown up in the type 1 diabetic space. Uh, I think it was a few months ago that she blew up just wearing her um, Omnipod and Freestyle Libre on the catwalk. And she has type 1 diabetes. This is fantastic. But the real heroes here are her mum, the people that are empowering her, like her managers, whoever's running the catwalk, the designers who are accepting of these devices. But good on her too for like showcasing and breaking the stigmas of type 1 diabetes. I mean, there shouldn't be stigma. So queens and genuine kings in the diabetic space, please don't get too distracted by the fantastic news of a celebrity being a diabetic. I mean, yes, good on Lila. I think she's doing great. But we all need to fight for our freedoms and fight for insulin for all. And only then can we start enjoying the glamour of diabetes. I think Diabetes Alive captioned it best because Lila is making the invisible visible to a lot of people who don't know who diabetics are. I'm going to leave this program just showcasing some of the other posts of Lila. Please get in touch. Let me know what topics you'd like me to speak about or break down and verbally spit at the camera. <laughs> You can find me at Jacobetic on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and uh, the T1DComs is now also on Instagram. So I'll be breaking these videos up and sharing them and news when, when I figure it out. Yeah.